Flooding woes have long plagued Trinidad and Tobago, and according to the Minister of Works and Transport, Rohan Sinanan, the effects of climate change has not only exacer exacerbated the issue throughout the country, but also worldwide. Areas, he says, not previously prone to flooding are now being affected, presenting a greater national challenge. But Minister Sinanan reveals an action plan. The ministry's plan is not just the Silton rivers. We have a national drainage plan now that we are working with for the first time. I indicated in 2018 that we had several studies done in Trinidad, but no operational plan. We engaged the Andean Development Bank, who came in and, and, and through grant funding was able to hire the consultants and so on. Finally, we have a document that we can work with to help us to, 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 to alleviate the flooding and a national plan that will take us into the next couple of years. The minister describes this national flooding plan as a work in progress and is assuring residents of the flood-challenged woodlands area that measures are being put in place to help alleviate the problem. It's a work in progress, but we have gotten out of the plan several projects that we can start with. So we have the first phase of the plan completed and, and the woodland area is one of the areas that the several projects have been identified. It's a significant investment in that area and it's a, a brand new pump and we also refurbish the older pumps. So in that area now we have full capacity. The challenge in the area is that once the water, once you have a high tide and the river is filled, you can't you'll just be recycling the water. So it's a challenged area.